Okay, so I remember at university um, when talking about morality and social psychology and stuff and there was this kind of delineation made between things that were kind of properly wrong, morally wrong, which basically meant incurred hurt to others. Um, and things that were just kind of transgressions of convention, like, um, you know, just kind of disobeyed our, our social mores and did socially unacceptable things, but that essentially don't hurt anyone else. And um, I think a lot about that distinction. I really, I really buy into that. Um, and it occurs to me that there's a kind of, um, I don't know, little tripartite kind of um, delineation to be made. Oh, I said delineation twice. Never mind. <laughs> um, so sociopaths kind of treat all types of wrong as if they're the kind of um, cultural transgressions. Um, they don't perceive ethics to be anything other than kind of arbitrary cultural mores to be adhered to in order that they can pass through life smoothly, pass through society smoothly. Um, so they don't see that it's worse to like torture a cat than to, I don't know, wear their wrong clothes to the office or whatever, it's it's game to play by the rules. Neurotypicals obviously do understand that difference very instinctively, but somehow not with a very good day-to-day -day awareness, it kind of it kind of gets lost in the day-to-day, -day. they react overly strongly to cultural transgressions. So you know there's loads of societies where you're gonna get like hung for being gay or you know stoned if you're a woman not wearing the right outfit or whatever, you know, things that aren't doing anyone any harm. Um, but they react their reactions are not proportionate. They're 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 treating all transgressions as if they're they're moral transgressions. Um, um whereas us aspies <laughs> um we're very tuned in to others' pain and injustice and so you know we're we're so aware of that 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 we understand that very well. But at the same time we're kind of utterly puzzled by the adherence to convention when that convention is, is fairly arbitrary. Um, yeah, and we basically can't be bothered. <laughs> so I don't know, it's kind of like, I guess it's part of my little um, exposition of Aspie as Superman or something, um, which is something that occurred to me when I was thinking about sociopathy. Um, yeah. I think it's us aspies that that see and feel it clearly more than more so than neurotypicals, I would make the argument.